In this video, we're going to look at how to set up and use a microscope. Well, there are many different types of microscopes, such as an electron epifluorescence or phase contrast microscope. There are two types commonly found in an educational laboratory. There are stereo microscopes and monocular or binocular compound microscopes. This is a stereo microscope. It is used for larger scale specimens, perhaps an insect, or as is shown here, minerals or fossils. These are compound microscopes. They're called compound microscopes because they have multiple lenses. Let's look at the different parts of the microscope. This particular microscope is trinocular because it has three ocular tubes. Though the center tube is usually set up with a camera, it can also be fitted with an ocular lens or eyepiece. The diopter adjuster is the grooved ring that surrounds the ocular, generally on the left side. The head contains the mirrors that reflect light up through the oculars. The nose rotates under the head and houses the objective lenses. The frame, or arm, holds the mechanical stage and the coarse fine focus. The base is the bottom section of the microscope and houses the electronics, the on-off switch, the illumination control, and the lamp. Above the lamp, resting in the mechanical stage, is the condenser. This lens condenses the light from the lamp into a small circle below the objective lens. The specimen sits in a frame on the mechanical stage and is moved by two stage control knobs located below the stage. This picture shows the controls for the mechanical stage much better. So let's begin to set this microscope up. Take the cover off and unwind the cord from the microscope, then plug it in. Try to avoid having excess cording hanging down off the lab bench where a passerby might catch it on something and topple the microscope. Turn it on and adjust the light intensity to 50 to 60 percent. Too much light is hard on your eyes and can damage the specimen. Place the specimen in the frame on the stage. Bring the condenser to the top. It should be just underneath the slide. Its height is controlled by a small knob at the back of and below the stage. Using the stage controls, center the specimen over the condenser. That's the specimen, not the slide. You should see your specimen in the center of the small ring of light. Then, be sure the 4x objective lens is in position. So far our setup has been done without even looking through the ocular lenses. Now it's time to get the microscope adjusted to fit your own eyes. Everyone's eyes are different. The spacing between them is different and every eye itself has a different acuity. Binocular microscopes are designed to compensate for all of this. The first step is to get the ocular spacing correct. You should see one large white circle in the center. If you see two overlapping circles, you need to adjust the oculars in or out. Now let's address the clarity of the image. We need to bring our specimen into focus. We start by closing the left eye and with the right eye open look through the right ocular and focus the image with the coarse and fine focus knobs located at the bottom of the frame. Then we're going to switch eyes. Close the right eye and opening the left. Use the diopter adjuster, that grooved ring around the ocular, to bring the image into crisp focus for the left eye. Now when both eyes are open, you should have a perfectly clear image for both eyes. Remember, right eye, then left, focusing one at a time. Right eye, then left. Now we want to begin actually examining the specimen. We begin with the 4x objective because this shows us the greatest amount of our specimen in the field of view, making it easier to locate the specific structure we're looking for. Here we see two images of the field of view at different total magnifications. Total magnification is simply the magnification of the objective lens multiplied by the magnification of the ocular lens. 
Ocular lenses in our labs are 10x, but you might find a microscope fitted with a 20x ocular lens. If that were the case, using a 4x objective would give you an 80x total magnification. A 10x objective would give you a 200x total magnification, and so on. Here, we are looking at an onion root tip. Say the question we need to answer requires us to find examples of the different phases of mitosis. I would start by finding the tip of the onion root on the slide, then magnify until I could see the phases within the cells. At 40x total magnification, I can plainly see the tip of the onion root. At 100x, I can see individual cells, but not a lot of detail yet, so I need more magnification. Before going to a 400x total magnification, we need to adjust the setup a little bit. We'll turn up the light using the brightness adjuster and then close up the iris located under the condenser lens. This is done with a small peg that slides back and forth. If it doesn't slide easily, it's the wrong peg. Closing the iris and increasing the light will give us better contrast as we get to higher magnifications. As you can see, with 400x total magnification, the structures inside the nucleus are visible, and we can identify different phases of mitosis. We can go further, though, with another change to the setup of our microscope. There is a 100x oil immersion objective lens on this microscope. It uses oil to channel light up from the slide to the lens like a tube. Without the oil, the light would be too scattered to get a usable image at such high magnification. Oil redirects that light to the objective lens. We add the oil to our setup by moving the 40x objective away from the slide, but stopping before the 100x is in place. Add just a drop of oil to the cover slip then complete the rotation with the 100x in place. It is important not to run the 40x objective through the oil. It can become contaminated by oil seeping into the objective lens and fouling the inside, in which case the objective must be taken apart and cleaned in order to be reused. So after we've made our observations for the day and have finished our work with the microscope, we still need to put it away. We begin by using the coarse focusing knobs to lower the stage. Go slowly, just in case you go up instead of down. You can catch it before damaging the lens or the slide. You'll notice in the video how the oil looks like a tube of light connecting the lens and the slide. Once the stage is down, remove the slide and clean it and put it away. Use lens paper to clean the oil from the objective lens. It is important that you use only lens paper to do this. Paper towels and even Kim wipes are too abrasive and could scratch the lens. Once the 100x objective is clean, rotate the 4x objective into the viewing position. Raise the stage, turn off and unplug the microscope, then coil the cord around the frame. If your microscope has a dust cover, replace the cover, then return the microscope to the shelf, carrying it with both hands, one on the frame and one under the base. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.